6,000 of their man-made years. So what they did was that a lot of the things that they show you when they show when they showing you themselves sitting like in historical places with us or they showing you all these old pictures, they really ain't do shit but go back and write themselves in our time. All right, and a lot of us don't know that this was possible, but that's what they were showing you in movies in the 80s, like The Terminator, when he was going back in time trying to stop some shit that happened in the past. Because going back in the past, if you can change one little thing, it alters the future. All right, and when you gotta remember that time isn't real, time and space is an illusion. So, with time and space being an illusion that they taught you was real, you right, you know, you you have no 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 grasp. Like, no understanding, no awareness of the fact that we live in different in different dimensions, that we are multidimensional beings. So you don't have a clue that everything that you're doing that you think is some shit you did in the past is already, is already being watched. Everything you're doing in the future are already being watched. All right? We're already being watched. We're already being watched. And our oppressors is watching every little thing we do. Although that doesn't stop us from winning this war, it doesn't stop us in growing, it doesn't stop us in our ship, it doesn't. I'm making y'all aware. I'm talking about the past, the present, and the future. Alright? So, now let's think on it, let's think about the past, the present, and the future from a more, from a neuroscience standpoint. So we're going to deal with just strictly us. Fuck them on the outside. Let's talk about it from our angle now. Okay? So what, how do, how do we affect the past, the present, and the future? Okay? Okay, so this is what it is. Your past was at one point just a thought in this paradigm shift. That thought manifested when you broke through the matrix, right? And then it became your past. Now your present is nothing more than the thoughts from your past. A lot of us wake up believing that we have no control over the shit that is happening, all right? That we have no control over the shit that is happening. But I repeat, this is present right now. This is only happening because I manifested this and thought about this. So, and y'all thought about this. So now it's 138 of us sitting right here on live in this moment in time. Now, you're thinking every second. So everything you think, so your thoughts you're thinking now create tomorrow. And what you think tomorrow create the next day. And on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Now, that's, you get what I'm saying? So now, now when you think back to your past, right? Your past is from memories from electrical imprints that you already left, right? And then when you're sitting right here in what we call the present, you're always creating and changing the future with your thoughts, not your actions, your thoughts. They teach you that thoughts and actions create change. No, it's not actions. Is literally thoughts, electrical impulses you're sending, all right? Because we are multi-dimensional beings, all right? And a lot of y'all are sitting in the university and think that you're a human being that's tapping into spirituality. No, you are a spiritual being, a soul that's having a God, a, a, a physical or material experience or a human being experience if you want to believe that you are a human being. Because I'm not going to judge you if you believe that you are a human being. You have the right to believe what you want to believe because it's free will in this paradigm shift we call reality. Okay? The, you are forever creating your present. Your, your, and your, and your, you create your past. You create your present. You create your future. Okay? All they can simply do is watch your past. Watch your present. Watch your future and they can try to go into your future and alter things to make it change your future Or they can also go back in time and step into your past and change things that will also change your present and your future Right, so in order to prevent that you have to be aware of this matrix we live in of this electrical construct We live in that's called reality Right, we created the whole reality construct, but you create this shit every single day with your mind This is why I tell you don't ask nobody shit you don't have to really ask nobody nothing. You can ask them, but if you really want to know the answers for something, you have to sit and ask yourself, all right? You can't wake up and feel like, okay, well, this didn't happen today because of this person, that person, that happened. That None of that is the reason why that ain't happened. You are controlling this whole construct 24-7, literally, with your electricity. Your thoughts is electricity. Your words is electricity, okay? This is all electricity, okay? This is all electricity. 
And I'm going to keep pumping this into y'all every single day because when we're talking about the past, we're talking about the present, and we're talking about the future, you're talking about three different dimensions that you create all in one setting. You're talking about the past. Those are dimensions. The past is a completely different dimension from the present. And the present is a completely different dimension from your future. And then somewhere in between past, present, and future, you have the potential to be. So this means that every thought have you ever thought in your life has the potential to manifest, right? Every possibility, every potential outcome has the potential to manifest based upon the way you tap into the ether around you. The ether around you. Okay? When you talk about the past, the present, and the future, you are talking about time. Let's get deeper. You're not when you're talking about the past, the present, and the future. Once again, you're going into time because you base that. If I say, if I bring up some shit from last week, if I bring up some shit from last week, right? Y'all gonna say that's in the past. So that's based off of time, right? If I say what I'm gonna do next month, you like, man, that's in the future. That ain't even got here yet. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. How many people say that? We don't know what tomorrow will bring. When you say you don't know what tomorrow will bring, you don't know what tomorrow will bring. I know what my tomorrow will bring every motherfucking time. Because I create my tomorrow every single day. You get what I'm saying? Ancient witchcraft spells. We don't know what tomorrow. You never know what tomorrow brings. Whether tomorrow never comes. Like, when you talking like that, you're you creating that. Alright? But, understand that when you talk about the past, the present, and the future, you're talking about time. You talk about a man-made illusion and you create all you can live in all three while sitting just within one with within the present you can sit right here and live in the past or you can sit right here and live in the future or you can sit right here and live in the present so in reality what is the past what is the present 